as, 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 as far as Beyonce, bro, um, she's. I got a I, I got a theory, so I know. Originally, we we talked about the Super Bowl, and I still think Drake does do a Super Bowl in two years. So not next year, but the following year. So not this next halftime show, but the year after that. I still think he does do a show. I I, I feel like that's the only thing he hasn't done yet. I think that's what he's gonna do for his next project. I don't know. I could be wrong. Whatever. I get the Super Bowls to be in Houston. Possibly somewhere. I I don't know where it is. I know next year it's in New Orleans. Next year it's in New Orleans. I know that. Which you believe. Which I feel like. So, Richard, I told you that the next Super Bowl halftime show that we get will be catered towards the whites. So, it's going to be some form of country rock, uh, which is why I said it's a high, it's a very high possibility. Listen, it's a, <laughs> it's a very high possibility that it could Who's it be. Who's it going to be catered towards, bro? Whites. <laughs> Why you asking what is on the H? Because <laughs> they white. <laughs> but no, listen, bro. I, you know, what I'm saying, like, I, like I told you, I said, it, I, I said it could be somebody like a Taylor Swift. It could be somebody like a Post Malone. It could be somebody from that ilk. You know what I'm saying? Because we haven't had that over the recent years. Like that thing, we had the whole Dr. Dre shit. We go to Rihanna. Now we going to Usher. We got to give them something, right? Mm -hmm. And currently, if you paid attention to how music is going right now, you would know that country is the most streamed genre of music. Like, the country is doing numbers. They're breaking records. Morgan Wallen said nigger, and he's on top of the world still. Like, because his music is good. Music so good that Lil Durk reached out and did a song with him afterwards. Like, that's how good his music is. Uh, Taylor Swift re-recorded her first album, and it blew the original numbers out the water. Like, like that's how that's how big country music is right now. Like, it's every, if you're doing country music, you're doing numbers. Jelly Roll left rap, and is a country music superstar right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck rap. Bro, I thought I was, I knew I wasn't tripping. I was yes. like, I swear he wasn't yes. singing, bro. I swear yes. he, he used, used to do like, rap. He used to run. He used he to run, like a Post Malone he, type. He used to run with three six in them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and he's the big dude with all the tattoos. Yes, sir. And I fuck with Jelly Roll. He's all right, bro. Yeah, and motherfucking sing too. So surprised the fuck out of me when I saw him singing. I was like, bro, like, yeah, it's, it's crazy to right, put out yeah. auto tune and shit, yeah. bro. Like you actually can hold a note. Yeah. So it's like knowing that country is. The most streamed genre right now. I ain't gonna lie. First, the first, my first thought when I saw that Beyonce was dropping two country songs and get ready to come out with a country album, my first thought was, she's doing the Super Bowl, and what better first, what better place to do it? New Orleans. <coughs> if you can't do a Super Bowl in Houston, but you can do it in New Orleans, which she has done before already. Mm -hmm. Run it back. This would be her third time headlining a Super Bowl. I think only one other person has headlined the Super Bowl three times. This would be her third. It's a country. It's a it's a country album. So it's not gonna. It, it's not for us. It's for the whites. You know what I'm saying? And you get the Beehive. The Beehive is gonna support it regardless. Like the Beehive is not. The Beehive is not not going to support. It. I'm talking about like, bro, the Beehive is going to support it. Is going to support Beyonce doing a country album so so much, bro. That nigga at the Renaissance tour, everybody was wearing silver and cowboy cowboy hats and boots, like tribal. Like if you showed up without a cowboy hat, you 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 was dressed inappropriately. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't have silver on, you was dressed inappropriately. You know what I'm saying? Like so, like the Beehive is going to hold it down for Beyonce, bro. Um. But yeah, she she's definitely she's definitely taking advantage of the opportunity at hand. And uh I mean, we all know what this is. It's a cash grab. You know what I'm saying? Get in it, get get in while it's hot. Country is hot right now. Let me go capitalize on this on this country mu uh, uh, music movement and uh let me make it do what it do. And uh, she's gonna drop is, is that what the album's called? Renaissance too? Gloria Estefan. Yeah, she's she's done it three times. Estefan. Yeah, Gloria Estefan's done it three times. Who the fuck is that? An artist. So, just think. Yeah. Now Beyonce has a chance to do it three times. New Orleans is close to the crib, 
And honestly, bro, remember remember how I was telling you? Fine. Remember how I was telling you, bro, that Rihanna, not Rihanna, that uh that um Beyonce really didn't want to necessarily go on tour again. Like she passionate did about this, bro. Huh? Passionate about this, ain't you? A little bit. Because I like calling a spade a spade. You okay. crying? Oh, nah, bro. That's my allergies, bro. <laughs> Fucking on my diet tribe. But like I was saying. Let uh, me lock in. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> But no, like I was saying though, bro, she, she she's she's getting she's getting older, bro. Mm-hmm. I think she just had knee surgery after the tour type shit or something. She had some type of surgery. She was she she hurt her knee on tour. She mm-hmm. she you know she's older, bro. She's doing that dancing. She's running around. She's doing the thing like she's a hell of a performer. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be in shape and maintain. And you know sometimes you get hurt. Um, but now you see she's rocking the blonde hair. Her skin's a little bit lighter. You know what I'm saying? She's rocking the cowboy hat. She's rocking the boots. Like, she went from doing the formation shit and being soul sister, and now she's trying to be Dolly Parton, bro. So now I'm looking at it like... She this, really wants this album of the year shit. This is the type of time she's on, and that's another thing. See, Hove set up the lob. He threw it off the glass. Yo, yo, my wife, she got 1,400 Grammys. She ain't never won album of the year. Next album announcing a week later, Bond Country. Okay. Country's on top of the world right now. So next year when it comes around and the Yonce album, she she performing at the bowl. So what's gonna happen is she gonna she's gonna Beyonce's gonna perform at the Super Bowl instead of going on another world tour. You think she she gets album of the year and yep. then they announce oh yep. Super Bowl performance. Well, that'll no, be announced before. After, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Super Bowl, so we'll know we'll know who's performing the Super Bowl beforehand. Um, but yes, but that's but that's normally how it works. It's, I mean, you you see it. Something happens. Somebody brings attention to something. Like, hey, in music with Grammys, we see it in, in film with movies and all these awards and shit like that. It's backpack. The only person so, who hasn't gotten it is my boo, so Angela Bassett. So I'm not gonna say that. Beyonce isn't worth. I'm not gonna say that Beyonce shouldn't already have album of the year, Grammy or whatever type of shit. She mm-hmm. should. She probably should. Um, but I think that's what's gonna happen. I think she is her at the Grammys next year for her country album. She will get album of the year. I think she is gonna be slated to headline the next Super Bowl in New Orleans next year. I think that she's gonna use the Super Bowl as her performance for the album. And instead of going on another world tour, I even think there's a high possibility. And if she might not get album of the year next year. Let's see what you're doing right now. I can see a high that's possibility. So quiet. I can see a high possibility, bro. I'm not joining in with you. That's fine. That's fine. I can see a high possibility. We well, seen what happened the last time you poked that beehive. I'm sticking my whole arm in this motherfucker this time. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm, that's I'm, why I haven't said a word. I, I'm. I got a balled up fist. I'm shaking this motherfucker. He got an altar fist. I got, I got, I got all the honey in one hand. They got an but, altar. But look, we need a pool fist in the honeycomb right Honey now. pot. But no, but like, who's to say that when she, that she, because who's to say that she doesn't come out to the album until the week of or the day of the Super Bowl? Usher just came out with an album, I think, the day before the Super Bowl, or two, you know what I'm saying? That, like two weeks before the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Like, so maximize on your streams. We see it every year. Whoever performs at the Super Bowl. Yeah, after the Super Bowl, like that album now doing numbers. You get what I'm saying? So now you already know the hype is going to go crazy. Yeah. Max that up with the bowl. That's a double whammy. And she don't got to go on tour. She's got to perform the Super Bowl. Come on, man. And that album drops this year. Could it could drop it again in the next year? I thought she announced that she's dropping. I don't, album. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know did she when. Just say, like, I, I know, I got I know an she, album on the way. I know that she, I know that that commercial was announcing that she has an album on the way. Oh yeah, that Country commercial album. also uh, let us know that going, to, going the moon landing was fake. They told us straight in our face. Now you said, now you, now you telling me that I'm tripping, and you, and, and you go, you go flat Earth. That's what you no, did. no, no. That's basically what you just did. No, I just said the moon landing was fake. I didn't say nothing about the world being flat. Well, what's the difference? Because so you believe what? the moon landing was hold on. You believe that the moon landing was fake, but you don't believe that the Earth was flat. I don't think. I do think that we probably did go. 
I do think that we probably did go to the moon or we attempted to go. Uh -huh. What I'm saying is when bruh, when she was like, when they was basically trying to be like, oh, my album, like I can, she was basically like insinuating, like I will get album of the year. What What's it got to take or whatever. Yeah. That was kind of like the insinuation and she's doing all these spectacular things. And she was like, oh, sorry, I'm on tour in outer space right now. I'm doing a concert from outer space or whatever. Yeah. And bro accidentally hits the button and then like it kills the gravity. Yeah. But he's on earth, but she's out of space, in outer space and yeah. knocks the gravity. That's why I was just like, hmm. So it's going to She space. was inside the spaceship. Exactly. So if if you can, it's like Dragon Ball Z, hyperbolic time chamber. You can change the gravity. Is that what is that what that was? I was I was probably reaching. Yeah. Speaking of like I'm Brandon Marshall reaching right now. Huh? A little bit. You love like Eric Eric Marshall. A little nah, bit. Little bit. Shit. <laughs> Sonny Marshall. <laughs> Sonny Marshall. <laughs> hey. That's what we're gonna start calling. That sounds that sound like some old nigga in the seventies running a car lot. You 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 been to Sonny Marshall's? You been <laughs> <laughs> they got the new trucks over there. <laughs> Sonny Marshalls, man, they cutting deals, yeah. man. They got the white ties. They got the they zero payments down, zero money down. Uh, Come on over here to Sonny Marshalls and get your rim. <laughs> Come and get your rim shine. <laughs> Come on, get your rim job. Oh, Jesus! All right, cool. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. Hey, uh, who, who got to relax? Rim job. Who, who got to relax? Let's go jump into that, bro. I don't want I don't want no be Beyonce and, and, and the Beehive. I'm I'm just I'm just I'm, I'm just time, bro. I'm just honestly. It now was, you're insinuating that that she's a, a culture vulture. Yes. I mean, I think the I think the whites would agree. I mean, hey, I I ain't gonna lie. Last time I had the Navy on my side. This time I got the whites because they are not happy that Beyonce is trying to do country. They not, bro. They not. They don't like that shit, bro. Yeah. They don't like it, bro. They don't like y'all coming over here with y'all big noses, taking up all the white man's air, taking up all the white man's music and his airwaves on the radio. They don't like that shit, bro. They don't, bro. Like they didn't like it in 2016 when she dropped the song with the Dixie Chicks, like, and she did a sub surprise performance at the CMAs, and two and two country artists walked out of the award show. Like, oh, we didn't think it aligned with the show. No, you didn't want the, the, the black chick there. Yeah. Say that. Oh, we felt like that she made the Dixie Chicks her background singers. Well, uh, duh, they were featured on the song, buddy. Like, yes, it's Beyonce's song. Yeah, it is country. She should be allowed to perform it at the CMAs, the Country Music Awards. Like, it's okay. Yeah. But that that group of people, the the, the elitists over there, don't want niggas over there, bro. They only want the niggas over there that they that they pick and choose to say, "Hey, Darius Rucker, we fuck with you." Rest you niggas. Lil Nas X. No. Beyonce. No. Speaking of. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like, yeah, Beyonce commercial. And so it's like, I I see what's going on, but Beyonce is such a transcendent megastar, it's gonna do numbers. She's gonna get the respect. Like, but she she's gonna get pushback. See all the genres, bro. They had to be in a jazz star. Exactly. You know what I'm saying, but she's but she's for president. But she's gonna she's gonna get pushed back you know what i'm saying like it's just just what it's gonna be bro because she's doing something that where that group of people over there don't want to see people that look like us in bro yeah they don't bro they don't and right now they know that they're they are the top of the game their genre is the it's the number one selling genre right now number one streaming genre right now and it's just it is what it is bro so it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out it's gonna be interesting you know what I'm saying? But like I said, the hive, I don't want no smoke. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I got I I got some people with me. Was, they 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 agree with what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with them, but you know what I'm saying? Hey man. So we'll see how it goes. Leave you in the hive alone. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, I love the hive, man. I just want some honey. 